This tutorial will show instructors the new way to export the final grades of a course into Power Campus. This new method is an improvement over the prior method of manually entering each student's grade into CampusNet Self-Service. From your course homepage, click Grades under Course Administration. You will now see the grader report showing all students and their grades for each assignment. Page down and scroll over to the last column on the right to see the course total grades for each student. Be sure to look over the grades to find any missing grades which show up as a small dash. Now this test class has many missing but for an actual class there probably wouldn't be many. Grades are missing when a student hasn't taken a test or done a required assignment. There are two ways to ensure that all empty grades are counted against all students. First, you can turn editing on and enter a zero into each empty cell to force a zero for missing assignments and quizzes and then save the page. Another way to force this across all grades is to use the aggregate only non-empty grades setting. To use this, click the pull down at the top and click full view under categories and items. Find the aggregate only non-empty grades setting at the top. If the checkbox is checked, empty grades will not count against students. This is useful earlier in the semester so students can see their average for assignments that have been done and not have future assignments count against them yet. But at the end of the course, if you want all unsubmitted assignments to count against students, you can uncheck the box to force empty grades to count as zero. So you can enter zeros in each unsubmitted assignment you want to count as zero on the grader report like I showed you previously or you can uncheck this aggregate only non-empty grades box to force all unsubmitted assignments to count as zero. When this setting is what you want click Save Changes and go back to the grader report by clicking Grades. Now look at the course totals on the right to make sure they are correct. If you are now ready to export the grades to Power Campus, the export function can be found either under the pull down export section Power Campus Grade Export or on the left under Grade Administration under Export. Click one of these to go to the Export to Power Campus screen. Look over the list to see if it looks correct. See the reminder note about the aggregate only non-empty grade setting which we just went over. There is also a link to a tutorial on this if you want more information. When ready to export, click the Export Now button. You should see the update successful message. Now we strongly suggest you check the grades in CampusNet Self-Service to make sure they have been imported there. This import should be immediate, so you can check them now. Go to the Self-Service tab and click Self-Service Home. Make sure you are logged in and click the Classes tab, then the Grading link. Hover over the year and click the class you want to check. Now this instructor doesn't have recently exported grades, so I'm going to look at a past class. Click Overall Grades on the left to see the list of students and all of the grades. The grades you just exported from Moodle should show up in the My Grades column. This class we're looking at has been finalized, so they're in the actual grade column. If everything looks correct, you're done. If not, you'll need to analyze what you see that's wrong. Once you have exported grades from Moodle, the normal self-service grade pulldowns will be gone. 
so you will need to go back to Moodle and correct any problems so that the course totals are correct. Then re-export the grades using the same process I've showed you to get them back into Power Campus. Check self-service again to be sure that they are correct. If there is some other problem, you can call the registrar for help. So that's how you export grades from Moodle to Power Campus. Thank you.